Welcome back to another sketch tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at creating buttons in a design system. Now we're going to be creating the buttons in each of our color styles that we've already seen. But we're also going to be creating a high emphasis, medium emphasis and low emphasis version. We're also going to create variations for fixed and auto layout. So let's get started. So let's head over to the symbols page. I'm here already and I'm going to drop in a small radius container. So if I go insert containers, small radius. Okay. And on top of that, I'm going to add a bit of text. Now, first of all, I'm going to create a sort of template for our button. And this is what we're going to use for basically the, the sizing, the padding around the font. And then we're going to create some variants off it, which are going to be effectively our color variants for, for primary error, warning success, dark and light. Uh, but I'll create the, the template one in primary. So let me drop in the text. Let's go with light, high emphasis. And we're going to go with regular center. So let's just say this is the label. I'm going to make my button 48 high and I'm going to go with padding of 16 in the sides and 12 top and bottom and now I'm going to group this just call it button for now and then I'm going to create the symbol so let's create now I'm going to create a new sort of directory so I'm going to go buttons and as this is the, the sort of template one which I'm going to use I'm actually going to just go with the star uh, and template is what I'm going to call it for now. So this is something that we're not actually ever going to use directly in our designs, but it will act as a template for the rest of our buttons so that we can keep consistent spacing uh, and size of our button. So let's create a symbol from this. Let's right click and go create symbol. And I'm going to call this, go into a directory called buttons. I'm going to give it a star. Um, just so to indicate this is something that we don't want to use directly on our designs and then I'm going to call it template. Okay, great. So I'm just going to get rid of that for now. It's sort of popped up over here. So we've got our template button ready to go. Um, oh, on here we've already got an outline, which I didn't want at the moment. Okay, now I'm just going to reinsert our button that we've created here as the template. So I'm going to use this to create a new symbol. Let's again go create symbol. Let's go buttons primary. I'm going to go with, I'm going to create a few different variations of emphasis like we've done in the text. So let's go primary, high emphasis. And I would also like to create fixed and auto layout buttons so that we can switch between them as we as we like. It can be a bit annoying if you if you do use auto layout and then you in fact want to find the width based on the on the container it's in. Maybe it's on a card or something like that and you want it full width. The auto layout actually becomes a bit annoying there. So I would like to create both. So first of all let's do our fixed ones. Okay, now let's just get rid of that. Okay, so this was fine because we just we already had the, the colors set up for our primary high emphasis. Now I'm going to create the medium and low emphasis versions. So I'm just going to duplicate this first of all. Let's do it a couple times. Okay, let's rename them first. So this one can be medium. This one, go with, let's go with low. Okay, in the background, Actually, the text on both will be the same. So I can do that first. So I can select them both at the same time and change both of their overrides at once if I like, which is what we're going to do. Change them both to primary regular center. For the medium emphasis, for the fill background, I'm going to change that to 200 and I'm going to get rid of the shadow as well. Actually, in fact, I'm going to get rid of the shadow on all of them. Okay, and I'm actually going to get rid of the background on the low one. 
that's just sort of the the text on its own okay great so these are our these are our three that works nicely for me actually just while we're here i would like to pin these to the edge there we go i'm actually going to add fixed onto the template one here as well because the template is going to be slightly different for the fixed and the auto layout so i'd just like to point out on the template for the fixed version on the layout options over here we've got no layout selected now I'm just going to duplicate all of these so that we can create the same ones for our auto layout buttons. And this time I'm going to select horizontal center on layout. Let's just rename that one as well. And let's do the same for the other buttons over here. So we will also need to make sure we're using the correct template now. So let's change these from fixed to the auto layout template. And now these should be good to go. So let's just bring a couple in for examples. Let me bring in the fixed version here. And let me bring in the auto layout one next to it. So if I change the label of the fixed one, let's say Laura Mibson, you'll notice that the button itself doesn't change. So not good if we want to keep consistent horizontal padding. However, it's very good if you want to make sure that the button size is consistent or variable based on its container rather than its content. Whereas the opposite is true of the auto layout version. So if I change this to Lorem Ipsum, you'll notice that the button itself changes size based on its content. But there's some scenarios where we'd want to use the fixed and there are others when we want to use the auto. But it's good to have the two options. So let me just get rid of those. And now let's create these for the rest of our colors. So I'm going to duplicate the whole row. Before we start changing the styling, I'm just going to change the naming so that we know what we're working with here. So let's go with error. Now to change the styling, I will have to change the, the, the fixed and the auto layout ones separately because they are now using different parent symbols. If I just select the symbol in the high emphasis fixed one here, I can go over and change the fill color to error. And that's all the changes we really need to make on this one. Uh, I'll do the same on the auto layout version as well. Then I can actually select both the low and the medium together in order to change the text color. So I'll go error, regular, center, and I'll need to select the medium one on its own to update the color of the background. Okay, great. Now let's do the same for the auto layout ones. Okay, great. Now let's take a look at our symbol tree at the moment. So we've got buttons, we've got a template which we want to ignore, and then we've got error and primary. We'll, we'll deal with the, the order at the end, but that's great that we've got these for now. And now I'd like to repeat this process for the rest of our colors. Now on the light version of the buttons, just so we can see this as we're working on it, I'm going to add a background color. Let's add our dark color variable. And let's make sure we, we uncheck the box, include an export. So we don't actually see it when we use it, but just so we're, when we're working on the symbols page, we can see this because these are intended to be used on a dark background. Okay, great. Now we've got those symbols. So let's take a look at our symbol tree. You can see we've got all our colors, and for each of those, we've got high, low, medium emphasis. 
and we've also got auto layout and fixed for each of those. I would just like to play with the order of things again. So let's head over to our components view. Open the buttons drop down and I would like primary to be at the top. Same order we use for our colors, our outlines and our typography. So I'd also quite like high emphasis to be at the top as well. So I'm just going to go through those and make sure that is the case. And if we look at our drop down again now, you see we've got that order and we've got one, two, three from high to low. Now to finish things off, I'd just like to create some pages in components where we can just have all of our symbols ready for reference if we just want to copy and paste them from there. So I'm going to create an artboard, putting it to zero, zero. I'm going to call this buttons and let's start pulling in our buttons okay canvas is way too big let's bring it right down so i'm going to bring in all the buttons we just created apart from the templates just so we have them here ready to copy at any time Okay, so you might have noticed I've just pulled in the auto layout version of these buttons. So I've renamed this one to buttons, give it a slash auto layout. And let's do the same for our fixed as well. So I'm just going to do it the other way around. So I'm going to have auto layout over here. Let's do this one as fixed. So there we go. Now we have two sets of buttons, fixed width version and auto layout version, all set up in high, medium, low emphasis in each of our color styles and ready to go.